So now that you are masters at transforming, uh, we are going to talk about uh, some basic modeling here. Uh, so whatever object that you've placed in your scene here, uh, we're going to get into edit mode. These are all nice and fancy here, these objects. Uh, but if we want to manipulate these, we're going to have to get into edit mode. That's where we get into basically our modeling tools. Uh, so what I'm going to do is on, my, on the bottom of my viewport, uh, it says we're in object mode right now. That basically means that we're going to be manipulating objects. We're going to switch this over to edit. And that will change whatever, uh, for whatever object you have selected, you're going to change this to edit mode. looks a little bit different now. So what, we, what we're looking at here, uh, what we're looking at are sub-objects, or objects that make up an object. Uh, and we are dealing with vertices, edges, and faces. And that sounds very complicated, but they're really all the same thing. vertex mode. Uh, you can change your modes right down here. It's right after your uh, move, rotate, scale commands or vertex edge and face mode. All three object is made of are these little points in space. Uh, these are called vertices or this one is called a vertex. Uh, and those points that you graphed in your math class, uh, that's exactly what these are. Only they have three coordinates instead of two. Uh, because you're not mapping them on a plane anymore, you're mapping these in 3D space. So this is a vertex. These little guys that connect these together are an edge. Uh, and then after you have three or more of these guys together, you get a face uh, or a polygon. Uh, and face is short for surface. So that's what can be shaded then. So that's uh, how these guys are built. That's the, um, the clip notes of the clip notes version. But, uh, And the, uh, the modeling comes in from manipulating these points. You notice that if I click on any of these guys, that I get the same manipulator here that I got for object mode. So if I want to move a point here, I can just grab these handles and move this around. And you see, uh, if I grab some points, uh, and I'm going to grab several here, you're going to hold shift down to do multiple selections. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in a second that as I manipulate these points, you see it's manipulating the surface. So this is the basics uh, of modeling. It becomes a little more complicated. Uh, but I'm manipulating these points in space, which is changing how the, the points are connected together, which then changes how the surface flows. Uh, and that's actually what we're modeling here. We're not dealing with solids, we're dealing with surfaces. So if you want to manipulate a surface, you have to change where these points go and how they're connected together. And then basically that's how you make whatever you want. So if you model the surface of uh, a monkey, you basically are taking all these points and arranging them so that they they look like a monkey. It's, it's how do you think uh, how this kind of works? It sounds kind of weird, but you're just manipulating surfaces to make it look like whatever you want it to look like. Uh, there are other kinds of selections here. Uh, you, you don't have to do hold shift and select multiples. Uh, B is box selection. Box selection. Uh, C is circle selection. Those come in handy if you're going to select multiple things. You still have to be in edit mode to do this. Uh, B, you see you can drag a box from corner to corner and get a group of things there. Uh, the C button or, or circle selection does give you a circle, but it works like a paintbrush. Uh, you will hold left click, and you basically just, whatever you paint on will become selected. Uh, and then you can roll your cursor or your mouse wheel up and down, and that will change your selection size. Uh, and if you hold the middle mouse button, it will deselect your paint. 
So that's kind of a fancy tool for selection. Comes in very handy. How do you get that stuff done? Kind of sort of um, I don't think you do, actually. Can you get rid of it? Yes, that's the next thing is A. The A key is select or deselect all. Uh, that stuff is under select as well down here on the menu. Do they have the circle box in here? They're using it. Yeah, they do have those down here. So there's circle under select. There's um, order and circle select down here on the menu. Those college instructors, they can't remember C and D. Uh, the last thing, um, and a really, really important thing for polygon modeling here that we're going to be doing, uh, is loop selection. This is always fun. I'm going to deselect everything by hitting A. If I hold Alt, the Alt key, and I click on an edge, what that's going to do is select all of the connected points here in what's called a loop. Uh, now loops here don't actually have to loop, they don't have to connect back to each other. If it was a circular object, say like a cylinder or something, then it would, it would connect all the way around. So this is going to be very important for what we will do. So that is alt click on an edge. Uh, if you click on a point, uh, it can go either way, whichever way it's feeling like going. So it, you want to click on an edge when you do that. So these lines in between. Yeah, you can you can hold shift. You can go crazy with it. do some basic polygon modeling here and then we'll talk about some fancier stuff here. Uh, we're going to talk about local view after we make an object. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to make a coffee table for our room here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of edit mode so I can change it right here. It is also the tab key for you guys that have been using keyboard shortcuts. Tab still is uh, toggled. And I'm going to get back to my camera, just so I have a point of reference here. Uh, that's remember number pad zero. We'll get back to my camera, and I'm going to place uh, the, basically the beginnings of a coffee table down here in front, um, because this is in perspective. I can't really tell what the distance is here, or if I put an object in front of this, really how close it is. So what I'm going to do. Uh, and you'll see, even if I click down here, I'm going to put my 3D cursor down here. And that looks to be right in front of the, the couch here. But if I add a cube, you actually see that it's probably like way down here underneath the floor somewhere. Because we're in perspective, remember that's, that's weird. We don't want to put things in perspective. We don't want to place objects. We don't want to measure objects in perspective. We want to switch to uh, an orthographic view to make sure uh, that we're going to be placing things in here correctly. If anybody's ever done any uh, moving or interior decorating or anything like that, uh, if you've ever used a floor plan view, you've ever rented an apartment or anything like that or added on to your house, you put everything in there, the floor plan view, which is the top view of your house. So what, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to delete this box. And I'm going to switch to the top view. So I can go down here to the menu under view and I can say top. Uh, or you can use the seven key over there, the number pad seven. And we're still in perspective, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna hit the number pad five key. Or I can go to view down here. Uh, I believe top uh, will change it automatically. Uh, and if it doesn't, you can change this right here. View, perspective, ortho, switch them back and forth between perspective and orthographic. 